Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I can't hear you, but I read your comments as you may have seen. If you have written comments in my past videos, I always systematically respond. So thank you to you if you've already added a comment. Today in this video, I'm gonna play a game called Chronophoto, or at least this is the website, chronophoto.app. I discovered this yesterday on GeoWizard's channel. I guess a lot of us discover things on GeoWizard's channel. I rediscovered GeoGuessr a year ago, and I've just discovered Chronophoto. And I wanted to give it a shot uh, recording this in front of you. I played very quick games. What is this all about? It's about detecting and trying to find the year when a photo was taken. Five rounds, just like GeoGuessr, five rounds to be as close as possible to the actual year when a photograph was taken. That's it. That's really very simple. Um, I've played just a few games very quickly last night as I could not sleep one of those nights once again. And I think my highest score is 2,500. I don't know what is the maximum number of points you can get. Maybe it's 5,000? No idea. Um, or 3,000. Anyway, let's get started. Let's play. And as you can see, my uh, cursor here is between already at 1960 because it's exactly in the middle between 1900 and 20. 22 actually 20 I, I was about to say 2020 but it actually also goes all the way to 2020 so you can zoom in on the photo a little bit so i can see here we have a portrait or a painting of saddam hussein iraq so i assume this is the u.s army but is the the first gulf war or is it the second gulf war is it 1991 or 2003 um, I'm tempted to go with 2003, no special reason. Maybe the photo looks a little bit more modern, but I could be wrong. Let me go to 2003, submit, and it was correct. It was 2003, so you get 1,000 points per round. So it is indeed out of 5,000 that you get a score. So I think my high score is 2,500 something. All right, here, this is more interesting. Uh, interesting, you see Coca-Cola here. Um, Looks like it could be taken in the US. Coffee, hamburger. Hamburger is what, 10 cents? Um, the dress here, the attire of these two individuals, the waitress, makes it seem like it would be maybe the 1950s? Maybe the 60s? I think I'm gonna go at the end of, end of the 40s, early 50s. And then we go to maybe 1949. Don't think it's before the war, but I could be wrong. I don't think so. Let's see. 1939, it was just at the start of the Second World War. And as you can see, I get only 342 points by being 10 years away from the actual date. Next one. What do we have here? A bunch of cannons. And can't see very well here. Let's see if I can zoom in using the trackpad instead. Look at these hats. This looks like early 20th century. Um, and all these cannons as well. I'm thinking this is around the First World War um, or thereabouts, either just before or just after. So let me go to 1914. And it was 1915. Ooh, that's a pretty good guess. Uh, thanks to the hats and all these cannons being ac actively displayed um, and pot potentially used. And you can see they're very old fashioned. All right, pretty good. I should be able to beat my high score. Next round. Okay, we have a bunch of people doing uh, gymnastic acrobatics. I don't, this, this angle is just uh, quite something. I don't know what the photo, photographer had in mind here. All right, this looks like it could be maybe like LA. We don't care. It's not Geogasa, I know, but it looks like it could be like some Americans doing gymnastics. I think this is early 80s or end of the 70s, especially since we have a color the photograph. Uh, the hair... The haircut looks like it's the early 80s. Um, all right, let me go. I Okay, let's go for 1980. 1983, yes. That was ni early in the 80s. 3,000 points in total so far. 777 for being just three years away. Next round. This is the last round. What do we have here? American flag. Is this like some kind of race or something? And they've just arrived? Ooh, I'm, trying to, I'm zooming in too much. Um, so it's a color photograph. Anything we can detect with uh, maybe the brand of the shoes or the style of the shoes here. Um, not quite certain. This looks fairly modern. Shorts are a bit wide. Maybe they're not, not super modern. Maybe the 
2000s of something. Um, although the photographs, the, the dynamic range of the photo is not great. Or the colors, rather, the saturation. I'm a bit worried at getting it completely wrong. I'm going to go for 2000. Let's see. 1992. It was earlier than I thought. Okay, 453 points. So 3,496 points as I'm recording this. It's my personal best. Um, let me see. Okay, here we go. High score, 3,496. The interface is very, very simple, but it's quite a lot of fun to try and detect when a photo was taken. Let me do another one and feel free to maybe pause the video as I'm playing to try and make a guess yourself and see what I've tried to guess and what the correct answer is afterwards. Or go ahead to that app, chronophoto.app, uh, to detect, to try and play and see what you think this is. Okay, so this looks like a techno festival of some kind. Um, no parking. Can we see something in terms of, we have a, like a DSLR here. And I suspect nowadays you'd have smartphones. You have a point and shoot camera here. You do have a flip camera here. This woman is holding this old fashioned uh, flip camera. So I think this is between 2000 and 2009 um, because of that flip camera. And I remember buying my very first phone when I was at university around 2001 and I could see these kind of phones already. So let me go around 2002. Ah, 2007, two years before the first smartphones. Not too bad. Um, all right, next one. Let's see when the image is loading. It's not loading. Got this little icon here. Maybe my internet is not great. Okay, here we go. It reloaded when I just reloaded the page. All right, so this is quite old in time, but how old? Is this, it looks like a Nazi insignia, right? He has like the moustache like, like Hitler. Not certain. Hope I'm not saying something horrible about some people here. Not sure if it's the Nazi insignia. The thing is what we're missing here, if we just have the date, but we don't know anything else about the photograph. Uh, so I'm tempted to go with 1940. 1941, maybe. Not quite certain, but that looks like it would be in the Second World War. Let's go for 1941. 1942, that wasn't too bad. Um, it was during the Second World War. Okay, wow, what do we have here? What is this? Like some fish or some kind? Okay, it, where is this? Have, I don't know if we have a mix of Asian people and Western people. Some kind of Chinatown here. Or maybe is it the Japanese Japanese fish market? All right. So anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get a sense of where, when that was taken. From the glasses, they have these round glasses. Everyone has these. This jacket, like three-piece suit. This this dude on the right. Um, I'm really struggling. I'm thinking. I don't know if the. This hat makes me think that would be the 30s or the 40s. But I really don't have a clue. I'm going to go with the 30s. I'm going to go to 1938. Can I select 38? Let's see if this is correct. No, it's 45. I hesitated 30s and 40s because of the type of the hat. And I guess my inspiration comes from movies. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> Movies and just I love photography. Look at this. Look at the, look at the sunglasses. I mean, wow, <laughs> just wow. Um, and I don't know. Is that is that I think is that Mick Jagger? Not certain if this is Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. I'm not certain. I'm aware I'm saying something stupid here. Maybe I'm going to do a quick internet search. Let me just take a screenshot here and see if I can find afterwards who this is. All right, so if this is Mick Jagger, um, I guess this is when he's around 20. So that would be in the 60s. Maybe the end of the 60s. What do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking that's the end of the 60s, early 70s, especially with the car behind. Um, let me go for 1970. Submit. It's 82. Oh, wow. I guess the leather jackets maybe would should have given it away. 
or maybe I think that Mick Jagger is older. If it is Mick Jagger, let me just check on my favorite search engine. Oh, it's these guys, Punks in Hungary. So I'm thinking it's Mick Jagger, but it's actually had nothing to do with, looks like the bad guys from Back to the Future. All right, so I guess I was completely wrong. It's not Mick Jagger. I guess he had a, a look that remind me of Mick Jagger. All right, let's move on, let's carry on. Uh, round number four. Let's see, what do we have here? Huh, so it's a colorized photo. It reminds me of my grandmother in Poland. Um, that looks like it could be the 60s, despite the color photograph. It could have been colorized, but I'm gonna go for the 70s, although I'm thinking for color, color photography, it's probably more the 80s. So um, I'm gonna go with uh, 1980, not super confident. 1963, oh my God, that's so bad. I, th I thought it could have been colorized. I said 1960, didn't I? I don't know, there was something about it. I can't tell exactly what, maybe the shape of the can and the stripes, which I remember on my mother's photos when she was a child, on the, maybe the haircut as well. And I thought, okay, I have to be careful. It could be, oh, is this a camera or something? It could be a colorized photo because in the 1960s, I don't think you had color photography. Should I have trusted my instinct here? Okay, what do we have here? Why not do something about the weather? Cottage Grove, 79. Let's look at the type of cars that we have here. Um... From movies I have watched, is there anything I could think? I'm thinking... It's like, uh, I've just seen excerpts of the Elvis movie and I'm thinking that could be that time period, so the 60s. Again, a colorized photo. I'm not too certain, I'm gonna go for 66. 67, that's a much better guess, but my results are much, much worse than before, I'm almost a thousand points below. Um, that's a pretty good one. So 67, that was a pretty bad one. 63, uh, this I was confused. He looked like Mick Jagger uh, to me. Uh, this was 45, not too bad. I put 39 and this one's very accurate. Okay, one last one. See how I'm doing on this last series. Okay, I do think we have a Nazi insignia here in the background. So this is likely going to be uh, between 1933 and 1945. Oh, and this is a destroyed shop, so it's probably during the Kristallnacht. Um, and I forgot my history lessons. That would be 1934. Um, or 19, yeah, I think it's 1934 when the Jewish shops were broken by extremists or Nazis when Hitler took power in 1933. But I'm not sure if it's 34 or 38. Um, or sometime in between, but I think it's 34. It was 38. Um, ouch. November 1938, the night of the broken glass. Okay. Uh, yes, it makes sense, right? They're so close to the war, but still, I thought there was already some um, violence happening as soon as 1933. All right. Well, I said I hesitated, but I went for the wrong one. All right, so this is... I recognize very easily that picture that was a year ago, 6th of January 2022, the Capitol riot in the US, I think just before someone, one of the people causing the riot, a woman actually got shot by this police officer. So I'm fairly confident. Was it 2021 already? Hang on, I thought it was 2022. It was two years ago already. That was already two years ago. Really? Hang on. Yes, the elections were 2020. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Um, elections were 2020, November 20. Oh my God, I just don't realize the time is flying. All right, well, so much for making a mistake. Looks like the New York subway, but we're not talking about whether it's the New York subway as opposed to when it was taken. Um, and that's not super easy based on people's attire here, it really could be anything between, let's see if I can zoom in slowly. 
it's really tricky. That could be easily t the 2000s somewhere. Oh, he's got something in his ear, like a an AirPod. So that's would be fairly recent. All right, let me do something fairly recent here. Maybe 2017, okay? 2015. Ah, hesitated. I'm going to put 2015 just in the middle, but I thought the AirPods were more recent. Okay, not too bad. All right, so this is much older. Um, can see from the horse cart or carriage here and some trams going around. So this looks like the 1920s to me. And with these hats, maybe the 1930s. Look at these women's dresses. All very elegant. All of them, look at this. Wow, and all these hats and these... Okay, I'm thinking this is 1930s. I'm going to put 1931. Not certain. Oh, wow, I'm so wrong. Zero points. 1905. It's much older than that with the horse carriages. I guess that's not... That's maybe one of the... Oh, is it a horse carriage? It is a horse carriage. Maybe there was barely any cars. Okay, so I need to remember that these types of hats is 1905. Okay, well, we're learning something every day, aren't we? Okay, so that's a bit of a dreadful image. Um, I guess I'll blur this one. Uh, pretty terrible. Um, don't know which war this would be. Looks like an Orthodox priest, so I'm tempted to go 2022 and the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, sorry about this. I'm going to blur the image because actually it's not blurred and you see the dead person. Um, bit shocking. 2015, so it's not. It's probably the... Uh, some other war, 2015, so in 2014, Crimea was taken. So I guess, oh, maybe it's the war in the eastern part of Ukraine between, since 20, 2014. Um, for Geogasa fans, you'll see the crossing sign here, pedestrian sign. Um, game results, 2,994. So that's a bit better than before, but worse than my first attempt. So thanks for watching. Let me know how you're doing. Are you beating my high score of 3,400 points? Uh, if yes, let me know. I'd be curious. Or if you've learned anything as you watch this video or as you played this game, I'm also curious. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.